we first showed you the home surveillance video back in February. A man helping himself to a massive custom chainsaw carved bear from an Albuquerque couple's front porch. No, I never expected to see it again. That's why Jeff Newman and his wife Joan were shocked when they got a call from Albuquerque police last week. My first thought was, what have I done? To their surprise, APD says the bear was found, but that's not all. He was in Farmington, and when she said Farmington, I jumped in and said, oh, two and a half hours away. She says, no, Farmington, Utah. That's right, Farmington, Utah. Newman drove 11 hours there and back to bring him home. It's just... To me, sentimental. So how was the bear found there? Now, unfortunately, the bear can't tell us how or when he got to Utah, but according to the Newmans, he wasn't alone in his journey from New Mexico. This just goes back to good community policing. Sergeant Deanne Servi with the Davis County Sheriff's Office in Utah says this man, 38-year-old Michael Perry, was selling items online. Detectives say a Utah man responding to an ad got suspicious about an expensive bike selling for cheap. He contacted us and we were able to run the serial number of this bike and it came back as alerted as stolen. When detectives found Perry, they say they also found his storage unit full of other stolen items worth thousands. The Newmans say Utah detectives made a New Mexico connection when the suspect's wife spoke up. She saw your news report um, and said to them, this bear comes from Albuquerque, was on the news. These unique bears pretty much cracked the case and put everything together. They're now connecting more stolen items to victims in Albuquerque. Who knew? How would you sum up this whole experience? Weird. <laughs> now the Newmans also wanted to thank that man who initially took a photo of that bicycle serial number. They also brought back a couple of snowboards from Utah that came up stolen from Albuquerque and turned them in to APD this morning. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Gabrielle. Court records show Perry is a convicted felon in New Mexico. He'll stay in a Utah jail for now on felony charges in this case.